Let's talk about the price of cat food because I am honestly in shock. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. So if you watch this channel, you know that I feed my cats a diet of homemade raw cat food. They get commercial raw cat food and then they get dry cat food and canned cat food as a treat. They also get fish-based canned cat food once a week. So it's not very often that I buy canned cat food for my cats. And the price of the raw cat food that I do buy for my cats has not changed that much at all. It's always been very pricey and it continues to be very pricey and I have not noticed a major price increase in it. However, I was in a supermarket last week and it was a new store. I'd never been in it before and I was walking up and down the aisles just to see what they sold there and I came across their pet food section and I looked at the cat food that they were selling and they were selling cans of Frisky's cat food for a dollar nine a can. I was completely in shock when I saw that. So I remember paying 49 cents a can for Frisky's cat food when I used to buy it for the cat. So we're talking between probably four and five years ago is when I remember paying 49 cents a can. Prior to that, in 2006, when Stella, Boo, and the kittens were feral cats living outside, I used to buy them cans of Friskies for 46 cents a can, sometimes 45 cents a can. That's what I remember paying for it back then. Let's say five years ago, I paid 46 to 49 cents a can for Friskies. I then checked my receipts because I keep receipts for every single thing I buy and I've been digitizing my receipts lately so I was able to look on my computer, search for Friskies and I found a receipt from November of 2021. So that was when Ditto had first come inside and I was trying to figure out what kind of food he responded to. He was dealing with severe mouth issues. We did not know if it was an abscess or cancer yet. So I was just trying to figure out, okay, what can he eat? And on my receipt, I spent 60 cents a can for Friskies. So that was 10 months ago. 10 months ago, I spent 60 cents a can on Friskies. So after I left the store that was selling Friskies for $1.09 a can, I decided to check out a few other local stores and to see what their prices were. I went to the local pet food store where I normally buy the cats the commercial raw food that I feed them, and the price on the shelf for the Friskies was $0.85 cents a can. However, they had it on sale for $0.76 cents a can. So I thought, okay, well, at least that's better than $1.09 a can. But I was still curious as to what the prices would be at other local stores. So I went to my local supermarket, which is where I used to buy the Friskies in the past when I used to spend 46 to 49 cents a can. And the price at the local supermarket is 80 cents a can. So back in November, 10 months ago, when I bought Friskies, I spent 60 cents a can. 10 months later, less than a year, it is now 80 cents a can. We're just gonna use 80 cents as the average local price. If we do the math, that means that the price of Friskies has gone up 33% in the past 10 months. In less than a year, the price of this canned cat food has gone up 33%. And if we do the math with what I was spending five years ago on this Friskies, the cost has gone up 63% in five years. In the past five years, the cost of this cat food has gone up 63%. So back to the pet food store where I get the cats their raw food. After I noticed the price of the Friskies, I said, well, let me go look at the price of the large cans of wellness that I remember pricing out for the cats a few years ago. They were $2.99 for a large can. And about a year ago, I remember stocking up and buying several cases of the large cans for the cats to have here as backup. Those cans are now being sold for $4.79 a can. So I was paying $2.99 a few years ago, and they're now $4.79. 
and that is a 60% increase in price. So it looks like on average, the cost of canned cat food has gone up 60% over the past three to five years. The reason why I'm so shocked by these numbers and the increased in cost is because I do live in the world of raw cat food where it has been more expensive to buy the raw food all along, which is why I started making my own homemade raw food. So making my own homemade raw cat food costs about half as much as it does to buy the commercially made and sold raw cat food. But I really feel like it's getting to a point where the canned cat food is almost just as expensive as the raw food if you sit down and do the math and figure out how much it costs per pound. So let's do some math. Commercially sold raw cat food averages about $8 a pound, depending on what you buy and where you buy it. Now I can make the homemade raw cat food for half that. So let's say $4 a pound and $4 a pound is using organic chicken. So that's more than if I was just to use just like regular chicken from a supermarket. If we look at a large can of wellness, which is 12.5 ounces, and it's currently being sold for $4.79 at my local pet food store. So if we do the math and figure out how much it costs per ounce, and then multiply that by 16 to get how much it costs a pound, it costs $6.13 for a pound of that canned cat food. So it's cheaper for me to make homemade raw food than it is to buy that canned cat food. And if I'm paying 80 cents a can for a 5.5 ounce can of Friskies, and if we figure out how much it costs per ounce, which is about 14 and a half cents an ounce, and if we times that by 16 ounces to get a pound of food, that's costing $2.33 for a pound of food. So it's currently costing $2.33 for a pound of Friskies pate cat food. I think I could make homemade raw food cheaper than that, which I will be doing in an upcoming video. So if you'd like to see that, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you're watching this video after that other video has already posted, I will put a link to the other video in the comment section below this video. So make sure you check out the comment section. So let me know what your thoughts are with regards to the price of cat food right now. What are you currently paying for the cat food that you buy for your cats? How much has it gone up from what you were paying a year ago? How much has it gone up from what you were paying a few years ago? And has it changed the way you're feeding your cats or has it changed what you're feeding your cats? Please leave a comment below and let me know. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching this Lucky Farrell's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.